thank you. So today Mommy Mary is celebrating her 50th birthday and it's a huge milestone. One of the things she's doing also to celebrate is giving back to society by sponsoring girls' education. How important is it that you think other women rise up and do things like what she's doing today? Um, it's absolutely essential. I am so inspired to be here because I run a foundation for girls as well. I'm one of the keynote speakers as well and the panelists. And what we are here to do is to give a voice and there's no better person to give a voice than someone that already has a loud voice. So when they give a voice to a cause like this, a lot of people hear it and it gets more people on board. So it's very exciting and it's a good way to be 50. Welcome to the launch of the Purple Girl Foundation, um, which is obviously a double celebration today because it's my um, birthday. Uh, I welcome everyone that has come. It's a Wednesday. It's a working day. It's actually a working hour. Um, and you all come out here to rejoice with me and obviously with the foundation. And I'm truly from the bottom of my heart very, very grateful for everyone that has honored our invitation. And this foundation actually seeks only one thing for every recipient that will be a beneficiary of this, of, the, of what this foundation um, offers, which is when it is your time, you owe it as well to society to also be able to do the same thing when you are able to. That is all we ask of the recipients of this foundation. Birthday wishes do you have for Mommy Mary as she celebrates 50th? Yes, I have a, a wonderful messages for her. I'm very happy that uh, we are part of the celebration. Mary is a very special person in at all levels, at all levels. And I'm sure everybody that comes here today will say the same thing about her. She's a wonderful person. She's a blessing to the family, to society at large. And one of the things that is uh, outstanding about her is a selfless, you know, giving uh, like what she's doing today, you know, the proper foundation for, uh, for, for girls, you know, and... Uh, I can only wish her a fantastic future, you know, full of uh, everything positive. I wish her every happiness, God's blessings, many more years, and more importantly, I wish that um, Mary comes to discover her own. I think she has, but there's so much more. We must go beyond the notion of access and consider not only the quality, but also the safety and the sustainability. It's really important to say that because when Mary came up and she said, we'll train a girl or we'll pick a child from whatever we'll pick them up to the end. And it's important, I tell you and your bottom of trustees, to you think about how sustainable that will be. And I'm not saying it's not going to be, it's just important to give more depth into that focus. I wish my sister Mary a happy birthday. I wish her God's best in all our endeavor. To compliment governments by providing opportunities and support for enhancing the education of the guy child in Lagos State and in the country. This is to wish Mommy Mary a happy birthday. As she attains the age of 50, I pray that God Almighty continually uphold her, bless her and keep her. She is an epitome of womanhood. Four years ago, while we were sleeping in our beds, happy and comfortable, a group of girls vanished in the night from their school. Maria Stover was one of these women who was put in front of the media. And yes, I know that a handful of girls have been brought back from Chibo, or back to Chibo. Her daughter, Saraya, is not yet home. And I have always kept up with Maria Stover's news because I was very touched by her story. Mary B is a wonderful person, and I wish her a very happy birthday. I wish her long life. I wish her more glorious ideas, more impact on humanity, and a very prosperous um, time on earth. When we don't prioritize girl child education, we're simply weakening half of our system. Not because they are girls, but because they are half of the population. So basically, what we do is if you have a question that has 10, if you have an exam that has 10 questions, and you only answer five of it, the maximum score you can get is a C or a 50. So when you have a country that doesn't prioritize empowering both genders equally, you can never achieve the optimal nation building. So for that alone, we should know that girl child education is not a propaganda, it's a deliberate and intentional action that we must take to make sure that Nigeria grows. And it is not the government's responsibility alone, it's our collective responsibility. I wish you all the very best. 
uh, that her tomorrow will be better than her yesterday and she would always make an impact in life. We only know tomorrow by just looking at a calendar but by not what happened, would happen. So I think children are, are today. And so when a girl does not go to school, we are all destroying our today. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow becomes another today. You agree with me, isn't it? Yesterday, by yesterday, Wednesday, 11th of July, was tomorrow. Wednesday, 11th of July, as at this time, is today. We are collectively destroying our today if we don't do anything about it. And there are some girls that are in school, but they are not in school. Maybe as we discussed, we would look at all that. I know the statistics that says 5.5 million, but I don't think it is a correct statistics because it's much more than that. And we're talking about a country where we have about 190 million people. I don't think it's just 5.5, but then that's a scary number to start with. An opportunity to put smiles on people's faces. It's a privilege, and I'm glad it's one she's not taken lightly. Um, one of the issues that was raised this morning, I think by Amy, was how sustainable it is for us to pay for girls or to take them from primary school and make sure that we, we follow through for them to finish university. And what I want to say is that a lot of thinking has gone into this project. It is not... Um, it is not something nice to do that we've put together. We've had to sit through, and that's why if you look at the caliber of the people on the board, these are people that understand the issues and also have um, experiences of their own of, um, of cases they've had to handle by themselves. And bringing that to bear on the totality of what the foundation is doing, we've also been able to put a sustainability plan in place. We will do as much as we can for the girls, and not just, like I said, tuition and healthcare, but also leadership development. So we'll also be calling on some of you here um, to share with our girls from time to time. We will ask some of you to mentor them, especially those of them in the tertiary institutions. When you look at Mary, she looks 20. So people who are nearing 50 should not be afraid of 50. It's just a number. They should take cue from people like Mary and, well, myself. I'm way beyond 50 and I look great. So, yes, I wish her the very best. Joy So I wish Mary B the best. I pray that she will fulfill her destiny, her purpose on earth, and that even as she grows older, strength will not fail her, neither might, but above all, the favor, the goodness, and the mercy of God will be with her. That for me to live here, that I have to be built up. Yes. And how much? At uh, fifty thousand, okay, madam. I don't do I thousand. Don't madam, I don't do thousand. You, you, I can't do thousand for you. Pay. Eh? Pay. Five million is fine. Five million is fine. Okay. A former super eagles captain, our neighbor, Joseph Yobo is here. Oh, that's great. Skipo, Skipo, are you bailing, madam? Who is going to bail? Are you bailing now? Five million. She can't leave the stage. Five million. If you can't, Joseph. If you can't do five million, let me know what you can do. And someone else will support you. Simple. Are you Baba? All my children. Come, come, come and join. Simple. Simple. Are you Baba? All my children. Come, come, come and join me. Okay, Joseph. Uh, One. From you, I'll take it. Boss. Boss, he has to 
should change the money from pounds to naira to know how much exactly it is. No, you know money is not in naira, it's not in dollars. May I send all of you for donating generously? And uh, may God reward you. And may these young girls justify what you are speaking in them. I'm Joseph Yobo. Big shout out, happy birthday to Mommy Mary. You know she deserves all the best in the world. Yeah. I'd like to wish Mommy Mary a very happy birthday. God's blessings. Plenty money. Plenty peace. Plenty love. And everything that is good in life. Happy birthday, Mommy Mary. How do you feel today? Excited. Very, very excited. Very happy. Very grateful to God for family, for friends, for today. And how does it feel today to, to be here celebrating the foundation and everything that you want to do for the girl child? How does it feel? Um, promising. Okay. It, the future just looks bright. Very happy birthday. God bless you and and God keep you and your family. I'll be waiting for you when you're 60, okay? Because I would have crossed already. Alright? Come, come, hurry. At your history, and you see that I've done so much, um, not only for myself but for other people, then you're confident to say this is how old I am and this is what I have achieved. And I think she deserves all the accolades because she's come a long way. She's a strong woman. Hi everyone, my name is Yomi Kajo. I want to wish uh, Mommy Mary a happy birthday. On behalf of me and my beautiful family, we want to say we love you so much. God bless you with long life, more money, more properties. You will live to see your children, your children, children. God bless you, Mommy Mary. We love you. Happy birthday. Mommy Mary, happy birthday to you. Uh, we all know who you are. You are just that woman of substance, woman of integrity. You know, I don't know what else to say. Happy birthday, Mommy Mary. We love you. And God will continue to bless you. So, Mommy Mary, my friend, my bestie, my mentor, the godmother of my children, my role model, wishing you all the best all right. the Thank next 50 Mary. years have to offer. All Bye. Right. Happy birthday, Mary Alibaba. I wish you all the best today and always. You are such a special woman, always giving of yourself. Thank you so much for all the years you've been so supportive. I wish you greatness, greatness with the Purple Girl Child Foundation. It's going to break barriers. It's going to bring a lot of change into people's lives. God bless you. Being a woman of excellence, she went on to buy degrees from Lagos Business School, Stanford Graduate School, Harvard Business School, Asia, France, IMD, Switzerland. Happy and birthday uh, to our dear sister, Sister Mary of Kobome. God bless you. Happy birthday, Mommy Mary. Happy 50th birthday. This is your season. And we pray that even as you've started out on this new project, the Purple Girl Foundation, you know, may you just, you know, soar to higher heights in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday. 50 is golden. It's wonderful. May God continually bless you for all the purple love you're giving out to children. God will continually replenish you. Happy birthday, Mommy. Thanks for everything you've given us. Happy birthday, Mommy. Long life and prosperity. Happy birthday, my mom. I wish you all the best, all the happiness in the world. You deserve it. Happy birthday, my mom. Have a good day. I stay blessed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Keep cook. <laughs> Think about it. 
it looked like it was something that we were really ready to be part of from the start. And I thank all of you. Um, we also believe, now, the important thing is that some of these board members were outside Nigeria and flew back yesterday. Yesterday, Emma, you just came back yesterday. So you came back today. And you came back like a few days ago. And some of them just came back just for this and they'll be out again. So we thank you. For everybody that has made a pledge and the donation, we thank you so much. Now the members of the media, uh, for the state, the DJ, the caterers, decorators, ushers, uh, Zafaya event. Thank you so much. Joy over.